Today we're going to talk about career and job pathways regarding nature, wildlife, and conservation. I'm joined by Anne Marie, a professional who will share a bit about what she does. My name is Anne Marie Chapman and I'm currently a park ranger at the Long Island National Wildlife Refuge Complex. And my job entails working with the public that come to visit our National Wildlife Refuges on Long Island. I just got my undergraduate degree. Um, I went to school in Virginia at Mary Washington College. So I majored in environmental science and Spanish. I started working for the federal government right after I graduated college. I actually did a couple of internships um, when I was going to college. I did internships pretty much every summer and I worked with a variety of federal agencies. I worked for um, the U.S. Forest Service, I worked for the Army Corps of Engineers, and I worked for the National Park Service. And I really feel like those internships were actually almost as, as important, if not more important, than my schoolwork because they gave me the opportunity to uh, work outdoors and kind of work with professionals that are in this um, field. And I, I really feel like that was probably just as important. A lot of people think that because I'm a park ranger that I work in a park, which is actually not true. I work in a national wildlife refuge. And a lot of people think that refuges are just like parks. And they think that they can come here and do whatever they want to do, whether it's uh, walking their dog or whether it's um, camping or riding a bike or, you know, all these different things that people are used to doing in parks. But the reality is that National Wildlife Refuges are for wildlife and they're not necessarily for people or everything that people want to do. So when people visit National Wildlife Refuges, I have to help educate them on what they can and can't do while they're here because really these areas are put aside for the wildlife. When I was first starting with Fish and Wildlife, um, I was trained on how to do predator control, which involved getting trained on um, specialized firearms. So I was taught on how to use uh, a 22 rifle with an infrared scope. I was taught on how to use um, a variety of shotguns, even muzzle loaders, all types of firearms. And I would be stationed at a, uh, at a bird colony in a wilderness area off the coast of Cape Cod where we kept watch over this, uh, the largest turn colony in the, the Gulf of Maine ecosystem. And we would have to protect the birds at night from predators that would come into the colony to eat their, their eggs and their chicks. And predators could be anything from uh, black crown night herons, which were very common, uh, great horned owls, um, even coyotes, raccoons, and fox. And um, although I never actually got to kill anything or even fire, a, <laughs> fire the gun at anything, um, it was really cool being in that space and being like the only, you know, human being there and, and having to live in this little blind, spend the night in a blind. And it was, it was really challenging, you know, mentally and, and physically. And it makes for uh, it makes for a really good, cool story later. Well, the typical work day is me kind of juggling a lot of responsibilities on the refuges that have to deal with people. So whether it's um, you know improving our trails or improving our signs right now we have a big project where we're trying to replace a lot of our signs on the on the trails that have gotten old and faded and cracked so we're trying to um, do that we're trying to bring new technology and use new technology um, whether it's like uh, youtube videos and qr codes um, maybe an app we're looking at developing an app to help guide people while they're here on the refuge so I'm always kind of looking at how to kind of improve the visitor experience when they come to the refuge. And
and that can take a variety of forms. And then it's just doing the regular maintenance stuff. So keeping our Facebook page updated, keeping our websites updated, um, you know, keeping our trails uh, mowed and maintained, all of our benches, all of our infrastructure, responding to visitor questions. So I uh, respond to our like our general email account or answering phone calls, selling passes, you know, a, a large variety of things that have to do with the public. So um, I've been with Fish and Wildlife, I've been with the federal government for um, almost 22 years and in the course of those 22 years I've worked in seven different states so I've moved around a lot for my job and then even at different positions I also get to travel um, a lot throughout the country kind of visiting other refuges um, sometimes we either have meetings or we have trainings or conferences a lot of professional development opportunities and then I've also actually had the chance to travel internationally. So I actually did um, a two week assignment in Guatemala for the Fish and Wildlife Service uh, working on an ecotourism project. So I've been able to travel a lot for my job, um, which you don't have to do if you don't want to do, but I like to travel and I like to have those um, various experiences. It's, it's a little bit challenging in this field to kind of have a balance because I think a lot of people who get into this line of work pretty much live um, their work. <laughs> so I, even on my time off, I enjoy doing things outside. I enjoy hiking on the refuge. I enjoy kayaking on the refuge. I enjoy being outside. I even I, I spend a lot of time gardening, which I feel like is being part of nature as well. Um, so I feel like in this line of work, your work is almost like fun and even your fun time sometimes can be work. Um, but I do, I do try to um, always take you know, personal time when I can. I go on a lot of vacations. I take my family traveling a lot. So um, I try to get away every once in a while too, um, which is helpful as well. Getting experience doing stuff is very important. It's just as important as getting education, even sometimes more important than, than um, academics, because it's only when you, when you start kind of working in your area uh, that you decide what you like to do. And a lot of people, it's hard for them to get a job if they don't have experience. And it's hard to get experience when you don't have a job. So uh, I encourage people to volunteer, to get out there and go to your local nature center or your local Audubon chapter, or maybe join a hiking club or a scouting group and try to get some experience um, in the area where you're interested in working. And not only will you get experience that you can put on your resume, but you'll also meet people that you can use um, as job references and maybe even find a mentor, somebody who can help give you advice and help help you direct your future career plans. So those are all really important um, building blocks that you don't necessarily get in the classroom, but they're, they're just as important. career in conservation really doesn't even feel like work because a lot of time it's fun being outdoors and it's fun being active um, and it's it's also very kind of inspiring you know we work on public lands we work with wildlife we work to help save endangered species we help to kind of educate people on why these areas are important and why we should save them and the areas themselves have a lot of value especially here on Long Island 